Now, we can turn to the topic of RMB exchange rate determination in China's interbank foreign exchange market. As we have known, the exchange rate of RMB against US dollar is determined by the interbank foreign exchange market. The daily movement of the exchange rate of RMB against US dollar is limited to 2% on either side of the reference rate announced by People's Bank of China. Previously, the reference rate was based on the weighted average price of foreign exchange transactions during the previous day's trading. In August 2015, closing rate in the previous business day was taken more into account. This reform disturbed RMB foreign exchange market and opened up the process of RMB depreciation in the following more than one years. In December 2015, a basket of currency change were further considered this was interpreted by market participants as a signal to intentionally depreciate RMB exchange rate. Recently, in May 2017, a counter-cyclical factor was considered. Since then, RMB exchange rate reversed expectation on RMB depreciation and opened up a road of small appreciation. Naturally, here is the question. What elements affect RMB exchange rate changes? Next, we use relevant theories to analyze this problem. Firstly, Let's go over several theories on exchange rate determination. The first theory is purchasing power parity, abbreviated as PPP. This theory is on long run exchange rate determination. PPP theory has two versions absolute PPP and the relative PPP. The absolute PPP assumes that exchange rate is determined by the ratio of domestic prices to foreign prices. The relative PPP theory assumes domestic inflation less foreign inflation should equal the, ex the change in the spot rate. The most widely used application of the PPP is Big Mac Index. From the table, we can see in the end of 2005, the Big Mac Hamburg in US is $3.1. In China, it is 10.5 yuan. This means the exchange rate of RMB against US dollar, according to PPP theory, should be equal to 3.39. That is uh, the ratio of 10.5 to 3.1. Compared to the value, actual RMB, RMB exchange rate was undervalued by 58%. The next table shows Big Mac index in July 2011. The implied RMB exchange rate became 3.6. In comparison, the actual rate was undervalued by 44%. From the two tables, we can see 
the great divergence between actual exchange rates and the theoretical ones, which proved the failure of PPP theory, especially in the short and the medium run. The second theory is interest rate parity, which relates exchange rate changes to interest rate differentials. This theory also has two versions, covered interest rate parity theory, abbreviated as CIP. This theory relates interest differentials to the forward premium or discount. Uncovered interest parity theory, abbreviated as UIP, relates interest differentials to an expected change in the spot exchange rate of domestic currency. Generally speaking, CIP applies to most developed countries with free capital flows and advanced financial markets. UIP assumes investors are risk neutral, uh, which is more difficult to be satisfied in reality. Therefore, most empirical tests failed to, to support UIP theory. This theory uh, is focused on short-term exchange rate determination. According to the interest rate parity theory, uh, the increase in rate will appreciate one's exchange rate. In China, capital can choose regulated exchange rate changes and interest rate changes, limited the application of interest rate parity to RMB exchange rate changes. A large amount of empirical tests proved the deviation from the theory. With relaxation on capital can choose and financial liberalization, interest rate differentials exert a more important influence on exchange rate changes. The next theory is international balance of payments, which is focused on mid-term exchange rate determination. According to this theory, exchange rates are determined by balance of payments uh, which is affected by difference of domestic income, interest rate, money supply with those of abroad. This theory provides explanation for RMB appreciation pressure in the beginning of 2000s. From this figure, we can say, since 1990s, Chinese trade balance have always experienced a surplus, except in 1993, shown by the red line. The trade surplus combined with the FDI inflows led to the persistent accumulation of foreign reserves, shown by the blue line. Especially since 2003, with the stepping up economic growth, trade surplus and foreign reserves accumulation all obviously accelerated. This posed a great depression on RMB appreciation. The backbone for China's double surplus was the rapid economic growth. On one hand, economic growth increased productivity and strengthened export competitiveness. On the other hand, economic prosperity attracted continuous capital flows. Exchange rate determination is more than an economic issue. In fact, it's a political issue since exchange rate changes have asymmetric impacts 
on different sectors and strata. Just as McKinnon and Ono point out, the failure of traditional theories lies in its failure to take account of political pressures on international trade and finance. In particular, RMB exchange rate regime is a managed floating. Politics plays an important role in RMB exchange rate determination. Japan began to criticize RMB pegged regime since 2002 to find a scapegoat for its long-run economic depression. Since 2007, U.S. took the lead and exerted great pressures on reform RMB exchange rate regime, which was an influential motivator to the 2005 RMB reform. After the onset of global financial crisis, developing countries such as Brazil, Turkey, and so on, which were negatively impacted by the crisis, followed to price RMB rigidity during the financial crisis under the international political pressures. China's government resumed the flexibility reform in June 2010. In all, balance of payments surplus, economic growth, and international political pressures contributed to RMB appreciation from 2005 to 2010. However, since People's Bank of China's reform on the central parity formation mechanism in August 2015, RMB reversed the appreciation trend and began to depreciate against the U.S. dollar. Several factors led to RMB depreciation. The first is U.S. dollar appreciation in 2014, which appreciated RMB real effective exchange rate. Market investors interpreted the reform on central parity formation as a signal to release the accumulated RMB depreciation pressure. The second is economic slowdown. The slow economic transition affected economic growth. Expectation on further RMB depreciation caused capital outflows, which aggravated RMB depreciation. Depreciation expectation and capital outflows thus from the vicious cycle. What do you expect RMB exchange rate to change in the future? Think about it.